Uh, I'm, I'm working on pharmaceuticals as well. Uh, Life Biosciences is a company that has three programs that work on three different aspects of aging. Uh, one I, I hope is going to be a solution to obesity as well as longevity. There's one that works on proteins that get old and reversing that, destroying them. Uh, and that will be useful for aging, but also Alzheimer's disease and other age-related issues with the eye. Uh, and this is all the, also the company that is developing the vision restoration. Uh, Metro Biotech is developing NAD-based pharmaceuticals. There's a lot of talk about NAD on the web. Uh, you're welcome to check that out, but I don't sell supplements. I'm developing pharmaceuticals, so that's this company. And we've been in human clinical trials for the last two years with uh, promising results that uh, I hope to talk about later. Uh, how do you measure the epigenome structure? Uh, so fortunately, there have been some breakthroughs, and this is a company that um, I'm on the board of and, and have grown since the beginning. Uh, this is this supplies kits to researchers and, and uh, hospitals around the world to be able to measure your genome, your epigenome in three dimensions. It's called Dovetail Genomics. Um, and I also, unfortunately, uh, well, I don't know if it's unfortunate, but I did talk about the pandemic coming in lifespan, and this was back in 2019. And uh, it happened, of course. But what it did was it, because I, I knew it was coming at some point, I started developing a company that can measure infections. Um, partly it was, you, if you read the book or have read the book, you know that our daughter, Natalie, our, our middle daughter, developed Lyme or caught Lyme disease. And it, the, the test for Lyme disease is, is pretty useless and slow. Well, it's not useless, but it's definitely slow and sometimes fails. So what I decided to do is start a company uh, out of my lab. It's called ArcBio. We uh, use, uh, we, we built our own computers in my garage actually uh, to run this. And now we can take any sample of your body and tell you what's non-human. And this is, I believe is the future of microbiology and disease detection. Right now, this is a, this company is using their technology to look at viruses in the human body and particularly in transplant patients where it's a problem. There's been this revolution in the science of aging. Uh, there are already a couple of Nobel prizes awarded for work that is relevant to aging. Um, there may be more, uh, but in terms of the, the world's view, governments are paying attention to this. Investors are piling in right now. It's a, it's a massive growth industry. And it's my, my prediction or my view that, uh, you know, we'll look back at the 21st century and say this was a real turning point. Um, you know, we've been very excited by these devices for the last 10 or so years, even more. But, uh, you know, I think the re revolution that's coming is going to, you know, far outweigh uh, in terms of human history and importance and money made uh, than anything we've seen recently. I see no reason why we should, why we would uh, address cancer and heart disease and Alzheimer's to keep people hopefully healthier for a bit longer, but ignore the main cause of all of those diseases, which is our cells get old. And you know, I don't buy the argument that it's natural. I don't buy the argument that, oh, it's, it's, it's too scary to work on or it's God's gift or it'll make life less meaningful, all of that. That sounds like complete bull to me, the kind of thing that people would have said 100 years ago about antibiotics. So instead, I think that um, people just find it uncomfortable talking about aging because it's new, <laughs> but already in my circles and, and soon globally in the next 10 years, uh, it'll be a normal topic of conversation and everyone will wonder why we didn't work on this earlier.